Michigan won the toss. They want the football. They want that bad taste out of their mouth as quickly as possible, apparently. So that means Matt Evanson will tee it up to kick off. And Junior Hemingway and Carlos Brown back deep for Michigan, and we're underway in the big house. And it'll go to the five to Carlos Brown. Brown across the 20 and out to about the 23-yard line. And that's where Chad Henney, who we already heard from, are setting up a wing to the top of your screen. Both wideouts near side on first down, and it's Hart on a play fake. The pass, and Manningham's got a head of steam down the sideline. I beg your pardon, it's Butler, the tight end. He's moving so fast, I thought it was 86 instead of 85. <laughs> Pick up of 30. Right. Now, Mundros, the fullback in the lineup for the first time in front of Mike Hart. Chad Henney steps back to call an audible, and Oregon almost jumped offside. But you can see they're blitzing, right? <laughs> <laughs> nice play fake. Henney's going to go deep. Intercepted in the end zone. And bringing it out is Matthew Harper. Harper across the 20. Still going. Harper's got a convoy down the sideline. He's still on his feet across midfield into the 45-yard line. What a great return. 55 yards from the goal. And now the spread offense with Dixon throwing on first down. Complete to Garen Strong. And Strong going strong inside the 30-yard line. Down to the 28. He blitzed. Johnson and Stewart both in the backfield. Shifting. And on the option, Dixon keeps. It's got a wide open hole inside the 20. And he picks up eight down to the 19-yard line. Second down in a yard. He's going to throw across the middle. He's got a man down to the 10-yard line and a first and goal. All alone in the backfield with five wide receivers at his disposal. That's a quarterback draw. They're going to throw a slip screen. Try to get back to the line of scrimmage. Just pacing her, and he didn't get anything. Nice job by the Michigan defense. Brandon Harrison made that play. And so last week, 44 and 45. This will be a 23-yard kick. And it's up and good. So Oregon gets something out of the turnover. They much would have preferred the touchdown. That That's right. There was nobody there. Everybody went after Hart. Second down and 11. They'll come after him again here, but he breaks it up the middle into the secondary, and Hart's got a first down. Big run out to the 45-yard line. Pickup of 17. Brad, one thing that they say... All right, Matt, keep us posted on all the scores. I know you will throughout the day. Second down and seven here for Michigan as they near midfield again. Henny, quick slant. Manningham caught it on the run. Broke a tackle. Out. Cuts outside. He's got great speed and one blocker. Manningham inside the 20 and down to about the 17-yard line. Only score a field goal by Evenson. Third down and goal, Michigan. Henny in the end zone's got a man. Who went airborne to pull that one down? Chad saw him all the way and he knew he had to deliver. That was just a great execution. That's about as fine a catch as you're going to see this week, I bet. A good job on that last drive to keep the defense off the field. The defense has got to do this three and out. And it's going to be tough against Oregon. He's going to go deep this time. He's got a man out there and got him in perfect stride. Brian Pacinger pacing down the sideline. Touchdown, Oregon. And no flag. I told you he's the guy that led the way against Houston, and he led everybody down the field on that one. An 85-yard touchdown pass. Grease, we have seen two perfect passes. One by Henny for a touchdown, and then... So he had single coverage and took a shot at it. And now they're going to go for two. With a big lineup, they get the two. Ed Dixon, the tight end, on a direct snap with a two-point conversion. <laughs> Don't you love this? I've, I've seen this. it all. I love Haven't done so far this week. Second down at six. Chad Henney, play action. He's got a man wide open. Manningham again. First down. And he's down to the 41, almost the 40-yard line of Oregon. Got a did you know for you. University. First down, Michigan at the 40. Hart. Boy. He's something to watch, isn't he? he uh, well, that line is doing a nice job, and he's got some holes there. Right. Mike gets a breather. Carlos Brown in the backfield for the Wolverines. First down, and he'll get the carry, and he does what Mike Hart would do. Go straight ahead, but he lost the ball, and that's something Mike Hart doesn't do. Michigan's...
fumbled. Jarris Bird has recovered. Wow, the second turnover now when Michigan had things going their way. They're stopping themselves. Average 9.4 per carry. That's Dixon. First and long this time. First and 15, running for his life, shows his ability to run right there and diving. Boy, he wanted that first down bad, didn't he? <laughs> Dennis, you could get it on second down. You don't have to kill yourself. <laughs> What Washington looks like a different team so far early, don't they? And Oregon looks like a pretty good team from the Pac-10, too. Six more yards by Stewart before Jamison can bring. That deep ball went for a touchdown for Oregon last time out. Here's Dixon on the run, acting like he's going to throw, and you know he can't throw because he was over the line of scrimmage. But he picked up four yards on the ground. You know, talking about Ron, the way he walked into our meeting yesterday, I said, Ron, well, this is third and 17. Here they come. Here they come. Dixon got away from the first man, That'd and he's thinking about throwing. Now he'll get what he can and get out of bounds near the original line of scrimmage. That a drive. <laughs> Field goal attempts. Brady leaped the hole. Kick on the way, and it is wide left. Didn't get it. Close, but not quite. So third down and long. Third and seven. Oregon showing blitz, and they're bringing it. Penny stands tall and fires and got Manningham for a first down. Out of bounds. You got to give Chad any credit. He saw the steam coming and he hunked. Michigan with the familiar looking three wide receiver offense. We wouldn't have said that about 15 years ago, would we? This is Arrington. And he's got another first down and he's all the way down to the 33 yard line. One of the things that has happened here, and they told us in team, yeah. freshman All American. So they learned under fire last year, and they're a lot better for it this time around in their second season. Here comes an end around, and it's Mario Manningham with a crease. When he's got a crease, he usually takes it to the barn, but he had one guy he couldn't beat, and that was Harper. And some crazy t shirts this week as well. Third down and 10, Michigan. Here comes a blitz. Henny stands in and Ooh. goes down. Took a big hit, dropped. Back at the 26-yard line, yeah. Matthew Harper again. Harper. Jason Gingell, who had a couple block last week, is going to try one here for Michigan on the way and hit the uprights. No good. So Michigan can get no closer. At dinner. <laughs> Here's Johnson. Jeremiah Johnson's got a first down and a lot more. Both Jeremiah Johnson and down at 10 for the Ducks at the 43. Here's Johnson up the middle, got to the 50, and he's going to be about three yards shy of the first down. One today. Yep. West Virginia won, didn't they? They were winning big the last time I saw them. Third down. And Johnson's got the first at the 45. Shifty runner, Jeremiah Johnson. He can run a lot. Up. Dixon going to oh run boy. with it. He's got a wide open field on the backside inside the 30. Tip toes out at the 26 yard line. Just that easy. By speeding up the no huddle right along here in his last three or four plays. Pump bank Statue of Liberty to Stewart to the outside. Stewart with a hurdle inside the 20 and he bulldozes his way down near the 10 yard line. What a run <laughs> by Jonathan Stewart. And Paul said he's two and a half. Now a little bit different than L what he was. A little bit different. Dixon, one of the guys that's thrown for over 2,000 yards in a season. Now he's trying to do it with his legs. And he goes out of bounds at about the three-yard line. Up to somebody. Let me or take a timeout. Hey, this is a huge play. It's fourth it down and two, and they're going for it. Dixon says somebody else take it, like this guy. Touchdown, Ducks. Jonathan Stewart for the touchdown. Talk about gambling on the road. They went for a two-point conversion after their first touchdown. Yep. Now they bulldoze it in on a fourth and two at the three. Yard. Padilla to the Daniel point. Padilla in for the point after. Giving the freshman some time, and he puts it right down the middle. So Jonathan Stewart, we talked about him on that drop. Chung. So Michigan's got, as Bob said, new life. The 38-yard line. Hard up the middle. Mike still going on his feet down to the 44-yard line. He doesn't go down when you think he's 14 carries. Here comes Mike again. Left side, got a blocker in front. Boy, we've seen some good runs today. Mike Bellotti, new coming in. Three for Michigan. <laughs> Kenny, here comes a blitz. 
And down he goes again. Second time the blitz has gotten to him. It was a defensive end, Jeremy Gibbs, that got him. Time of possession is in their favor. Here's Stewart, cuts to the outside. Hurdles his way out to the 50. Boys, he had a couple of great runs today, or what? 23 more yards for the big hit. And a first down now for the Ducks back in Michigan territory. Just shaded on their side of the 50. Dixon on play action. High pass, but caught. Nice catch. Pickup of about five by Brian Pacinger. Had to go up. From the slot guy. And that can't be good. Oh. That tells you right away it's his own coverage. Right there in the corner, bottom of your screen. Dixon. Flush from the pocket, broke a tackle, he's going to get a first down. Oh, man. He is unbelievable. 14 in the slot. Look at those. You don't see many of that uh, in any football. Maybe Canadian football league. I don't know. Let's see where they go with it. Dixon's going to fire it. Oh, what a catch. And a first down. Jason Williams, well, that's what helps about being 6'5", 240. You can They saw the cover, the defense. He's checking it off from the sideline. At the nine-yard line. Pump fake, Statue of Liberty, Stewart. And now it's Dixon. Didn't he had me. He didn't give it to him. He didn't give it to him. <laughs> he faked you. He got you, Ness. <laughs> he got me. Touchdown, Oregon. Was this a beautiful play or what? And they were waiting on the outside for Stewart. Down at 10. Under three and a half minutes in the second quarter. Kenny pressured again. He's going to loft one long. Manningham's trying to find it, and he can't. It was over one shoulder, and the ball was over. Of course, especially at USC before going out of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Dixon, deep ball. Man wide open. Got him perfect. This is an Oregon touchdown. Derek Jones. It took one play for Dennis Dixon to throw another perfect pass. 61 yards. Touchdown, Ducks. Oh, wait. Uh, there's another one of those and what was that I'm telling you this guy is so good this Dennis Dixon when he said he loves this offense I guess so they got uh, what 800 yards over? down earlier to Pacinger and that 61 yard rocket to Derrick Jones and Padilla's extra point has added to the Oregon Another carry, nice move. Oh, cross midfield. <laughs> he's shifty, isn't he? He's shifty and he's strong. Yes. He's fun to watch. For halftime, any kind of points would help, but they're looking for a touchdown. Henny throws a perfect strike on the quick slant to Adrian Arrington. They've tried that play two or three times today. It's worked a couple of times. Yeah, so two to seven. Henny gonna scramble. Now backs up, still looking for a receiver all the way to the Michigan sideline, and then got unceremoniously knocked out of bounds right in front of his own bench by, and on the ball at the 30-some yard line. If this is incomplete, or if they don't get a first down. Henny, down the middle, got his man, first down Michigan. Given some ground as Manningham, trying to get extra ground, and he's got a first down. So Henny stays in, he throws a strike to Michigan for a first down. They need nine yards for a touchdown. Here comes the pressure on Henning to the end zone. High, and this one not catchable by Adrian Arrington. He got away with one of those on the... Send them all again. They're coming. Here they come. Henning lost it to the corner for Manningham. It's tipped, and then it's intercepted by Thurman. No, it was out of bounds. Doesn't matter. They get the ball anyway. It's Oregon ball either way. Axe and takeaways. Third down now in the shotgun is Mallet, the freshman out of Texarkana, Arkansas. Back to throw, plenty of time, deep middle, tipped, intercepted, going the other way. Jarris Bird. Bird weaves his way back to about where the Michigan line of scrimmage was, a 21-yard return. That was Manningham's fall all the way. Well, and uh, there you are, definitely a top 25 team. Johnson trying to cut it to the outside. He's got a blocker in front of him inside the 10. And he's all the way down near. And the ball came out. The ball is out and Michigan's got it. Fumbled near the end of the run trying to get extra yardage. That, that is what happened to Oregon the last four games of last. Fifth time that Michigan has had a third and 10 or longer. 
Well, now it's going to show his arm off. Got Manningham out there. Tips. Almost caught. And he can throw it a long ways. Chad Henney's the first guy to say gets a win. Dixon wants to go deep. He's got a man out there. And Jason Williams perfectly in stride for the touchdown. I'm impressed with this Dixon kid. <laughs> He's thrown three of the best balls I think I've ever seen all in one day. 46 more yards, touchdown. And it ain't getting any better for the Wolverines and their faithful. But the Duck fans are loving it. Well, Two-play drive, 51 yards, touchdown, extra point up and good. But I, I like what Bellotti said coming out of halftime. He said, this is the best game that Devin here, and not always the defense not looking good. The offense isn't looking good. Mallett's going to throw it deep on the sideline again. And should, no, I guess not a flag. A little bump down there at the end. Walter Thurman was tangled. They were said it was defensively that they lost uh, seven, six or seven starters. Had a couple of killer turnovers today and a lot of opportunities in Oregon territory. What a stiff oh. arm that was by Johnson. Oh Johnson in the clear. All the way down inside the 30. Boy, was that a stiff arm or what? We've got to see that again. From one of the, the preseason being one of the favorites in the Big Ten to now being one of the teams that, you know, you know, you don't worry about winning the Big Ten. Yeah. You, you look at Wisconsin. With Dixon this time. On fourth down and inches. And it's Johnson. He got stopped. So the Michigan defense held at the goal line. Brandon Graham and Chris Graham combined on the stop. And the place goes crazy. Couldn't have put him in any better spots than what he did. Now another fumble. And I think Oregon's got the ball. So now Mallett's having trouble even taking the snap from center. And the wheels are falling off the Michigan bus right now. The Ducks will take over with six minutes and eight seconds. Here's Andre Crenshaw, the third tailback. And he's in the open. Crenshaw, side the 30, the 20, and inside the 20 down to the 19-yard line. Pressures for 100 or more yards, so that thing's starting to fall backwards a little bit. Nothing backwards about what Oregon's done today. It's been all forward. <laughs> Leaf completes it out to Colvin, and he's brought down short of the first. Oh, he, he was saw a his pitcher numbers. and then throwing, and then throwing uh, footballs after practice. That wouldn't help. Daniel Padilla with the field goal, and it hit the uprights, much like what occurred earlier to Michigan. 3:20. Sleep, he passes out, <laughs> <laughs> and then he comes to in the morning. In the morning, he doesn't wake up. He comes to. That's right. Mallet, look out in the pocket, down he goes. Well, time to tell you about our Chevrolet players of the game. And I don't know if there'll be any driving tonight that will be as good as the driving that Dennis Dixon did at quarterback for Oregon today. So Coach Carr has got to try to put the pieces. We said there were pieces to the puzzle, and they had to try to start putting them back together. Happy. Oregon rolls to a big win, and Michigan falls to 0-2. Something you just don't hear of, do you? Final score, Oregon 39, Michigan 7. The final score is Oregon. Final 39. score, 39-7.